Hi everyone, Aaron Dell here from AWS. Today, I'm going to show you how to do synthetic tags with AWS built-in services and the Cloud Intelligence dashboards. So in order to do synthetic tags, which means tags that are usually a grouping or a layer on top of your existing AWS tags, the best place to go is something called AWS cost categories. You will find cost categories in the billing console. Once you visit the billing console, head over to cost categories and let's create a new one. So I'm going to create a BU mapping or business unit mapping that's based on both accounts and tags and services. So when I create the cost category, the first thing I'm going to do is give it a name, business unit, and I'm going to uh, apply the look back period all the way back to December of 2021. So this is going to back tag everything in my cost and usage information. So I'm going to give this business unit value a business unit name. So something like prod services. My prod web services is going to be when it's this account and when the cost allocation tag equals prod. Now I'm going to add another rule. And I'm going to say, I also want it to be prod web services if the service is EC2. I'm not going to add any split charges. I'm just going to create the category. Okay, great. Let's create another one. We can go back to business unit. We can edit this and create another business unit value. Another rule that we want to add is we want this business unit value to be dev environment when the account is this second account I have and when my cost allocation tag is dev. But we also want it to include anything from a specific service. So we're gonna add a rule that says the business unit is dev environment when the service equals AWS code pipeline. So this kind of functions as an or. So my cost category is going to equal dev environment if the service is AWS code pipeline or it comes from this account and has this tag. So this lets us build all of these logical rules on top of our existing accounts, tags, and service usage. This is going to become really useful when we want to add these new business units into our cloud intelligence dashboards. But in order to do that, we need to wait 24 hours for the cost and usage report to update. I'll see you in 24 hours. Now that it's been 24 hours, see, I'm wearing a different shirt. My hair should be a little bit different. We're going to check and see how this information has actually made its way into the curve. So from my cost category section here, the first place we're going to go and check is the Athena query. So let's visit Athena. In Athena, we're going to find our views and our tables. The tables we want to look at is our cur table. If you click this little plus button, you'll see all of the columns. Now there's a lot of columns in the cur. So what we can do is just scroll down towards the end and we should see costs underscore categories. There we are. Cost underscore category underscore business underscore unit. This is our new cost category. So let's add it to the dashboard. There's another video explaining how to do this, but I'll cover it very quickly. In our summary view, we're going to do a show at a query. We're going to add a new line. I like to double click on this, add a comma, and give it a more human readable name, such as business unit demo. We're going to increment our group by by one. And we're going to run the query. Now we can visit QuickSight. We can visit our data sets. And let's take a look at our summary view. We'll edit the data set. And in our fields, we should see our new cost category, which we called business unit demo. We're going to click on save and publish. And now let's visit one of our dashboards. I'm going to take a look at the cost intelligence dashboard. Now, as your data set is refreshing, your dashboard will show no data. All you need to do is wait for your data set to finish refreshing and we'll come back and take a look at this. Now that our data set has finished refreshing, let's take a look at our amortized spend graph and see note how it's grouped by charge type. Well, let's group it by our new business unit demo. Now we can charge back to our business units correctly using our new synthetic tag, but that's not all. 
As you'll see in another video, you can also add a control up here to filter the whole dashboard by business unit. I'm gonna show it to you again here, just in case you didn't watch the other video. You're gonna to go to parameters. We'll create a new parameter. We'll call it business unit demo. It can be multiple values. We're gonna create a control. We'll call it business unit demo. It'll be a multi-select dropdown and we're gonna link it to a data set. Summary view, business unit demo. Now it's a drop down up here, as we can see. But it's not going to actually affect any of these graphs until I add a filter. So I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to add the filter, business unit demo. And I'm going to link this filter by changing it to a custom filter and linking it to a parameter. The parameter is the business unit demo parameter. And I'll click apply. Now I'm going to make it so that it's all visuals that are applicable to this data set. Now, when I go up here, I can say I'd like to just see my costs associated with prod services. And we filter the rest of the dashboard. So that's a quick and easy way you can create synthetic tags using AWS cost categories and the cloud intelligence dashboards. Thank you so much.